All right. Time to talk about the M1 iPad Pro. So this was, the to me, the big thing that people were really looking forward to was the screen on this thing. And I don't think Apple disappointed. Uh, they went with mini LEDs on the 12.9 inch. I think there's 10,000 mini LEDs that they talked about. Uh, so well, they basically brought the Pro uh, XDR screen down in size and put it on that uh, on that iMac or on mm -hmm. that iPad Pro. And that's pretty amazing uh, what they've been able to do with it. Actually, to your point, but perhaps I buried the lead, the iPad Pro now has the M1. So, you know, very close to what we've got. I mean, it's literally the same chip. And the interesting thing is RAM on this, John, if you see on Apple spec page, uh, which I'll show in the video stream here right while we're doing this, there is no seven core uh, GPU yes. version. There is the eight core GPU version. Mm -hmm. Eight gigs of RAM on everything 512 and lower. So 128, 256, and 512 storage have eight gigs of RAM. And if you get one terabyte or two terabytes of storage, your iPad Pro has 16 gigs of RAM. Perhaps the biggest thing here is that Apple is telling us how much RAM is being shipped in an iPad Pro mm. for the first time. One thing that I appreciated, which to me was something they should have done at the beginning, they're like, oh, by the way, now we support 5G. Uh, uh, what I'm saying is that it's good that they, you know, oh. introduce this feature in the absolutely uh, in another iOS device. What's I, I also did. baked into the M1 system on a chip, John, is Thunderbolt, and the iPad Pros mm. USB-C port is now a Thunderbolt port, so that brings fast storage and bigger displays, right? So you can hook up that that you know Pro XDR display to this thing and use it with your mm. iPad. That's pretty cool.